All right, we're going to install some beef tubes. I've already got the wheel nut off. Take my wheel off, prop it up. That's going to be too high. Then I got a beef patty. You got to be careful, it's got a pin in there. So get that pin out. I always put the pin in there and set it off here to the side so I don't lose it. I've already done the same on the other side. And then pretty much I'm going to unhook the shocks here, the steering link, and uh, the knuckle. And I'll, I'll turn it back on when I get to the knuckle. There's a couple pieces you got to pay attention to in there that you cannot lose. All right, so I told you I'd turn us back on for the knuckles here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and unhook. The, there's a wishbone right right here. You can see that it runs right underneath the front steering servo. I'm going to unhook that and uh, then back out the set screw here for the drive shaft. I'll just get you in there to see that, that little bitty screw right there. I'll back that out and uh, the drive shaft will slide right off of that and uh, we'll have our whole front axle out from underneath this beast and we'll throw some beef tubes in it. We'll go ahead here and uh, undo my servo horn, back out my servo screws. Uh, I won't have enough servo line to, to get it out and work on it so we'll unhook that. Alright so we got the servo unhooked Got the axle here. We'll get this out of the way. Get our axle squared away. And if you look, you can already tell I bought this rig used. And if you see where this knuckle's lined up compared to this knuckle, you'll see this one's back a little bit. Um, hopefully, when I put these tubes in, I can. Um, line those both up tilted back a little bit and it gives you just a touch more steering uh, here's my I put a um, o-ring on where that dog bone or wishbone whatever you want to call it goes in there and it's got a uh, spacer that goes with it but kept pulling out where it's wore out so I used an o-ring and a washer and that keeps that from pulling out, but we'll go ahead and take these axles apart. All right, so let's get these axles taken apart here. We'll start with these knuckles where I told you you got to be careful when you get them apart. Um, you back these out, this out, and slide out. And there's a couple little cups in there, and they're bushings, um, and so we don't want to uh, we don't want to lose those bushings. Notice my stainless steel K and K hardware. Uh, it's way better than having rust like that. Let's see if we can get you to focus. All right, so we'll finish getting this apart, and I'll show you those little cups that you don't want to lose. I figured I'd start making YouTube videos of stuff that I hadn't found, and since I'm brand new, I like watching videos to see how things are done, and I hadn't seen how to install beef tubes so here we go we're getting ready to slide this apart keep it in focus and do you see it fall as soon as here i got it i caught it but there it is that's what we're trying not to lose that little cup it goes right right in there see and there's another one you can see the little lip on this side and so those two little cups stay in that and we'll watch for those little bushings keep it sideways like that and it's not likely to fall out as easy and again I'll set this off to the side and uh, Try not to lose those. So 
back this one out. So if you're asking what the purpose of tubes are, best of my understanding is um, first we're going to add some non-rotational weight to the front end which will help keep it down and we will also strengthen this axle we will give, uh, give a place for these screws to go into so if you're like me and you've got an older rig um, and again I bought mine used but um, this isn't the first time it's been apart and so um, the plastic strips out real easy let me get one of the tubes out here show you so I got stainless hardware and I got the tube and the tube is threaded as you can see there well threading this steel tube is going to um, definitely be a lot better I'll set them up there because that's pretty definitely going to be a lot better than uh, the plastic so we'll keep taking these apart all right so you just kind of wiggle this and it, it'll come off so we got that one off and I'll set it over there and you can see where that plastic is getting tired. See it over here where it's actually been drilled out once before. I'll take this side off, check it out. I see this one's got a couple holes in it. So it's stripped before. And honestly, if um, it gets too bad. You can buy this housing for like 10 or 12 bucks. Um, pretty much any hobby shop uh, will carry that for you. So, anyhow, I'm going to take out these four and. Uh, Let's go ahead and take our axle apart and see what the insides look like. So we'll split this case. You'll see I got some ring grease crammed in there, but and it's pretty filthy. Really pretty filthy. So we'll get all this cleaned out and um, we'll throw our set of tubes in there. See the tubes will come in like this. All right, so we're getting these cleaned up. Finish cleaning out. See the marine grease. Get all that cleaned out. But what we have to do is right here. I'll grab one. This slides in, and that bearing stops right there against that little lip. I'll turn this for you to see it. See that lip inside that? We gotta cut that out because our tube is gonna sit right there. When we get that cut out, the tubes will lay in there just perfect. And we'll have our beef tube in. And uh, so I'm gonna finish cleaning these up. I'll come back on and cut one of these out for you with you watching. And there'll be four of them. One, two, three, four. And you can see how nasty this is and pretty much how wore out this axle housing is but it's not too wore out to use so um, and again you'd be buying a brand new one and cutting on it so so as we cut this out we'll just take little bits at a time try to keep from cutting our fingers off but you see how I'm kind of almost shaving it and once it's where it needs to be come back the other way a little bit and same thing where this hole is coming through. Take a little bit off at a time. Just work your way through it. Again, I've never done this before, so but I didn't really find any videos that showed me how to do it. And I wanted to do it. 
And I figure if I'm pretty new to the RC and I want to know how to do it, somebody else wants to know how to do it too. So um, if I'm doing something wrong, tell me. Because, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we're going to try and work our way through this the best we can. Grab a tube. It looks pretty good, really. It lays down in there, so. We got uh, three more of them to cut out like that. And uh, reassembly. Put some marine grease in there to keep everything moving. And this is a front axle, and I'd consider overdriving it um, to help with steering abilities. If you know anything about overdriving an axle and you think it's worth the time, let me know in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. All right, so I got them all cleaned out here. I think got that where that bearing stop set. Uh, so I got that done. I'm gonna put everything together here, test fit it, see if I like the way it fits, and uh, go from there. And then we'll get back on and finish our build so I'll have to put some more marine grease in here so we put this together we want to make sure that uh, it's doing exactly what we want it to do here so far so good I can still hear grease in there which is good really That's pretty much what we're doing. We're just one piece at a time, put it back together here. Let's get our multi-purpose marine grease out here. I'll show you that. Tear me off a paper towel. Put underneath. Here, this pretty nasty stuff, really. But it does the job, so. Take our paper towel, set her down there. Take our tubes out for now. Just, some people do this with gloves, some people do it without. Of putting these together. Got some four stainless steel button heads. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll take our axle and line it up. Best we can. Same thing on this side. Line it up the best we can. Oh, I guess. Might want to put these on. So now that we've got everything test fit, I'll go ahead and start bolting the axle back together. And uh, make sure when you do this that you can see through. If you can see there, 
now I can see through the hole. Uh, that way I know it's all lined up. So when I put it together here, it's going to be where I need it to be. So remember I said I wanted that to tilt back so um, somebody's already modified this axle for me so I'm going to tilt it back and uh, try and get everything to line up here looks like that slid out a little bit but I think we'll be okay finish pushing that on it and you guys can probably see that you can almost see through to the other side. Let's take that brand new piece of hardware that I've got and see if we got it lined up. Take a wipe that out a little bit. If we can't get this to line up, so I'm just putting my axles back in, and as, as they go in, I just twist them a little bit till they they get seated in there, and see how it sits flush. Can't even see the beef tube in there, but uh, keeps that weight in there, and gave me something solid to to screw to here on each side. And again, I tilted tilted that camphor or whatever you call that it's tilted back a little bit so I'll put the other side together and we'll start to reassemble the truck So we'll put our axle back in here. Again, like I said, you just sit it down in there and you kind of twist and push at the same time. And when it's where it needs to be, it just falls right into place. I don't know if you can see, but as I turn this side, this side moves. The output where the uh, drive shaft would go moves. And that's all freehand and greased up and got tubes in it. Got us a set of beef tubes. So now we just reassemble and um, go play. So as we start to reassemble the axle, this is kind of the way we've looked at it the whole time. And uh, that's, that's okay to look at it that way, but we've got to remember this is going to the back of the truck. So... We've got the truck sitting up here, and this axle goes in like this. And if you recall, the steering linkage came off of the left side, uh, the driver's side of the vehicle. So you just got to remember that this goes on this side, and our other one goes on this side. And there's one of our top hats that we talked about that we want to be so careful not to lose. So and it, the reassembly is pretty self-explanatory. Make sure, as you look here, you've got we've got that little top hat that we talked about. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to set it in this side. And as I do, the other one's going to fall out. Get that one in. Get that one in. And so now. We'll line up that, line up that. See, that's not right. That's going towards the back, which is okay, but it needs to come out the front. So, quick little switcheroo and complete roll because this is the way it's going to go, and that's how that goes. 
Let me just put it back together. Like Humpty Dumpty. So you'll see, again, I put that side on wrong, so I get to do it again. So this is kind of a tricky part, getting that, uh, that, let's see if we can get it here for you to see right here, this dog bone to line back up here in the back of the servo, or underneath the servo, so get our links out of the way. And uh, I was taking, remember I told you I had an O-ring, and there's the little washer that I've used. See how I got pushed through. There's a spacer uh, that you don't want to lose. And I'm sure somebody knows what millimeter it is. I don't. Uh, and I put an O-ring on this side too. And it just gives it a little bit of cushion. So taking all right so we're going to put our drive shaft back together right here's the drive shaft the output and the set screw and I'll take the set screw some blue Loctite put just a dab of Loctite on it, which a dab turned out to be a gob, but we'll take this, and I always try and line this up the best that I can from here, and that way it's, it's easier. So you guys, I don't know if you can see all the way through to my other finger down there or not, but I do have it lined up. So get that in. With the Loctite on there, it's not going to um, back out on us when we're on the trail or in a creek, or wherever, rock climbing, wherever you may be. Uh, some people say, ah, oh, you don't need that. Well, uh, I may not, but I want to be in a position where I won't need that. Not where I don't need it, but where I won't need it. And now, I won't need any thread lock on the trail. Alright, so... As we reassemble here, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Put our shocks back on. You notice I do have some beef tips on there uh, from beef tubes. It's just that much more weight down low. Um, keep you planted on the ground. So we'll just undo or redo what we undid earlier. So uh, the shock goes on the outside and uh, and comes back up to the top of the shock tower 
And so we'll, we'll put that back on. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, so as we're putting this back together, I figure I'm a noob and I had to double check myself, so I'll just tell you uh, that the spacer does go between the, the housing and uh, the shock itself, so it goes just like this. Just little things that you take for granted, I guess, when you know them, but if you don't know them, you have to look. And, well, I had to look. But that's okay. That's what this video is for. Maybe I'll just watch it again if I have a question. On uh, taking an axle out or putting it in. I've pretty much done it all in this video, putting in our beef tubes. So, And we are getting close to getting going. So go ahead and get ready to put our beef patty back on. Push our bearing all the way in. Here's that beef patty and that pin that you've heard me talk about. So we'll slide this pin in, just kind of try and center it up like that. Take the beef patty, line it up, adjust it, and it's locked in. And you'll see on the wheel here, on the back of it, how it, uh, it sets just in here. Same thing. And once it's locked in, it's locked in. We'll, with this, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to take just a dab of Loctite, which became way too much again. Put my wheel on with that. That way, again, it's not something that I don't need, it's something that I won't need. Yes, some of you may be like, oh, he don't need that on there. It's it's a lock nut. Well, again, I don't want to be on the trail and be like, man, I wish I had that on there. So now I won't need it. All right, we'll take our beef patty, get our little pin out of there. Do the same thing on this side as the last. Drop our pin in. Kind of center it. I don't know if you can see how it's sticking out there just a little bit. And again, we'll line up our patty to fit. You can feel it when it lines up. It sinks right in. Same thing. We'll take the tire, get it on, take our nut. Just a dab will do you. And it comes out pretty easy. So there's my dab. you guys enjoyed this video please press the like button and subscribe uh, I'll try and keep videos coming uh, I like to go out and crawl a lot I like to uh, take my small camera throw it inside the truck and get some first-person views I think that's a pretty good way of filming that's how you install beef tubes on an SCX 10 anyway well, if you like it, please like, press the like button, subscribe, and uh, share the video. Get out there and shoot some RC.